hey guys welcome to my channel i know i've been a little bit out of it i am back i'm back in full force and this is my little little background it's just basically a kimono the thing that you put on the kimono i don't remember the name but i just got it and i'm so happy that i got it because it's like real silk kimono i'm not sure if you can see but it's like real silk um materials like originally from a kimono it's like very very old traditional like good quality um, material kimono wear but anyway today we're gonna do like a weekend skincare routine went ahead actually washed my face cleansed my face and so forth the next thing that I'm going to do is to add my mug mugwort cream calming mask because this is going to be uh, like a cowling clay cowling clay mask but it's very hydrating at the same time so it's not really stripping because now my skin is extremely dry and there's one thing that i really notice about my skin right now because it's so dry it kind of looks a little bit wrinkly even though i'm using a lot of hydrating ingredients on my skin my skin needs a lot of moisture so I'm gonna go really ham when it comes to hydration and so forth So I'm using a lot of mask right now because my skin is extremely dry guys So the first thing we're going to do before we actually put on the mask I kind of want to hydrate my face first before the mask and after the mask I hydrate my skin Yes, and this is just something that I realized that has Consistently worked for my skin. I've been getting a little bit of, or I, I haven't really been getting a little like pimples nowadays but I got one recently right after I used my peeling solution from the ordinary so I know that it's just like the gunk and everything from you know from everything and because I always get dead skin here so I have to like exfoliate at the same time even though my skin is like dry you know what I'm saying but anyway I'm gonna use a skin illuminating solution from element I really love the skin Ill illumination um, line from element I think they're really effective when it comes to like removing um when it comes to hydration what am I talking about you removing when it comes to hydration hydration and this is just from um I think Wish Trends, their company element. But anyway, I'm gonna just add some hydration to my skin right before I tone. So, not tone, right before I um, add my mask. I don't know, there's something about it that makes me feel really good and I feel like I'm actually doing something great to my skin, especially now that my skin is extremely dry. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do after I tone, I'm not going to allow it to dry down, like dry, dry down. I'm going to go in with the, mug, the Bonajour Mugwort Cream Calming Mask because this is very, even though it's a, a mask per se, like it has how cowling clay, as I said before, it's very hydrating, very, very hydrating. It's not like super drying like the rest of my mask that I have that I usually use during warmer months. Yeah, this one is extremely hydrating. So you really don't have to worry about your skin being dry. Yes, I like that. And I just take it in the areas where, you know, I really want to detox. And usually these areas are right here. The cheek area. Under the chin area. Right here. T-zone. But I re guys, you don't know, I love skincare. And this is what this is how you can actually maintain good skin and good skin practices and so forth. Just have a routine, guys. A routine. To have a routine is very, very important. You can't just today you do your skincare and then tomorrow you start doing something else. Focus on something else. Like everything, everything that you do, if you're doing your skin, you need to spend um the same amount of time that you would spend like on the like food if you're if you're into food and like being healthy you can't just spend time alone on your skin and not spend time eating good food you know what i'm saying you have to everything has to be done in moderation everything has to get equal the equal an equal amount of like attention so if you really want to have good skin or so forth you have to make sure that you're consuming food foods that are actually healthy that are actually good for your skin 
So even though I like mostly talk about like skincare and maybe makeup application and just like things that, you know, we apply to the physical skin, it's also important to consume. It's also important to drink water. It's also important to do things that are healthy, that are in in line with being healthy not only on the physical but internal too because it's a great feeling when you're not only taking care of your physical but your your inside spiritual mental you know everything you must just take care of yourself holistically and it's actually a great feeling and that's just the attitude that i want to take into or i have taken into the new year i want to take care of my physical body i want to take care of the physical in terms of the external part i want to take off internal i want to take off care of my mental um, state i want to take care of my spiritual state i want to be able to be have control over myself you know what i'm saying i want to be able to have control and sp- spiritual I want God to control, you know, to be, I want God to be, I want God to be in control of my life, you know what I'm saying, yes, so, yeah, I know that I'm kind of rambling, but it's just what I'm feeling, you know, yeah, and skincare is like very therapeutic in a sense, very therapeutic, it just makes me feel good, it makes me feel as though I'm doing something amazing for myself just for my entire being and so forth so even if i go in with makeup to enhance to make me look you know extra extra pretty extra beautiful to the eye i don't feel any way i don't feel like i'm hiding anything because i have actually been working on me personally and i know that what i'm talking right now i don't really have a topic i don't really have anything but i'm just you know sharing but let me just allow this to dry down a bit and then come back to you because the skincare has to be done guys the water is so cold i just basically finish and uh, i just you know wash my face uh, and while i was washing my face i was i remember this girl on youtube she's a famous one of those famous youtube i don't remember her name but i just was i remember i was listening to her and she was saying that um she's going to start using ice on her skin i'm like ice so I was listening to her because I'm like, wow, she's talking about skin, but she's doing makeup. Like her makeup is like really, really, she can do like really like dramatic makeup, you know, really good, like perfection. She may be a perfectionist when it comes to makeup, but she was just talking about, um, she wanted her pores to like be non-existent or whatever. So I was listening to hear what she was going to do. And she was like, I'm going to start using ice on my skin so that I can, my pores can be like nice and tight. In my mind, I'm like, ice? You're going to use ice on your... <laughs> anyway, I just thought it was funny. Like, oh, wow. Wow. That's great. If only ice could actually tighten people's pores. But anyway, it was just funny when I heard her saying that. She wants so it's going to use ice to tighten her pores because you know that's exactly how your skin feels whenever you use like really cold water to wash your face feels really really tight all right but anyway my skin feels really nice now so what i'm gonna do is to use the same toning pad same um element skin activating solution and we are gonna tone our skin you know, I was just, um, I was just thinking to myself, like, I hope I'm in focus. Yeah. I was just thinking to myself, like, what do I do on an everyday basis when I'm not doing, um, if I'm not doing skincare or if I'm not worrying about, worrying about like what I'm eating, what I'm consuming. Yeah. If I'm not worried, worrying about what I'm consuming on a daily basis, if I'm not worried about whether or not I feel healthy and strong or if i'm not worried about or worried about what i'm going to cook the next day what do i do what do i do on a daily basis and i realized that one of the things that i really <laughs> i really do on a day, daily basis is i watch a lot of um court tv i watch a lot of divorce court i watch a lot of judge mattis and just you know a lot of reality court tv i don't know why i enjoy them so much but Maybe the reason why I enjoy them so much is because it's just that 
you know you learn you learn how people think and for some reason most of these people that come on tv there i'm like i didn't know that people like those existed <laughs> they are so naturally hilarious funny and i think like these producers of these um tv um core tv series they literally just get um the most um hilarious set of people to to cast on TV, like to you know, have on these shows, cause it's like always drama, some kind of drama. Somebody's always sharing their own drama and just you know, even especially the the ones the um like the divorce court and so forth, the, the relationship um court TV, just always funny to me, like literally funny, like. I just find them very hilarious like these people I'm like where do they come from <laughs> like where do they come from but anyway I just use my toner so right now the next thing for me to do I'm just gonna allow it to dry down a little bit yes always make sure that your skincare dries down especially if you are going in you know to layer your skincare always make sure that it dries down all right so after that toner as I said before, my skin is extremely dry, so I have to really make sure that I hydrate it. So what I like to do now, I like to go in with my Rovectin Skin Activating Solution. Guys, I don't know, I just love, uh, this is my holy grail, guys. Holy grail. Like, there is something about this that I just love. It just works. It just does the job, especially when the time is like, right? very dry I just love it I just love how it feels on my skin it feels so good all right guys so what I am going to talk about about today I there are some ingredients that I really want to try for this new year I've had one of them that I wanted to try but because I'm using retinol on my skin I kind of don't want to I want to continue to use the retinol before I actually start using this other ingredient that is similar to retinol but this ingredient is very new and I'm going to talk about it more in my next video but I really want to start using like um I'm gonna start using or maybe not in my next video in maybe the video is gonna come in two weeks I really want to start using Bakuchiel 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 is a um is a kind of retinol but it's like plant-based yeah I want to start including that in my skincare routine I think I have one Bakuchiel um, serum was it no I have a Bakuchiel oil from Neogen that I have been wanting to try but I was like or I'm like I have to wait until you know I am finished with my current um, retinol uh, serum that I'm currently using from the ordinary Alright, so this is my ordinary alpha arbutin. This is the alpha arbutin. It's gonna use some of this. I've started using this since January. This January. Cause yeah, I just wanna start using my alpha arbutin for the new year. And this is the 60 ml. I know that this is going to take this is gonna last for the next usually last me maybe six months um two months two to three months depending on if i use it a lot but i know that this 60 ml is gonna last me for january february maybe march and the end of april i might have to purchase some stuff from the ordinary all right but this is the alpha arbutin alpha arbutin was like literally the first um, brightening ingredient I started using I shouldn't use it on my over my eyes but I started using it already so might as well but alpha arbutin salicylic acid glycolic acid those are the first um, skincare ingredients that are or actives that I started using on my skin and they literally changed my skin. I wasn't using anything, just salicylic acid, alpha arbutin, and glycolic acid toner. That's all. And I was using a cheap cleanser and a cheap moisturizer, and that was it. And it changed my skincare. 
or it changed the way my skin looked because I was just actually taking care of my skin. Like, to be honest, like, if you have any kind of skin issues or anything and you didn't have a skincare routine before and you start a skincare routine with any product, you will see improvement in your skin. Even if the skincare product is not super effective, you will see improvement in your skin if you didn't ever have a skincare routine, right? What you're going to see in your skin as opposed to um, you not taking care of your skin is going to be like very very different the changes are going to be so obvious even if the skincare are not are uh, the skincare products aren't effective the fact that you start to take care of your skin you're going to see improvement improvement in terms of how it feels how it looks and so forth but what you actually want is for your skin to have major improvements so that's where you have to make sure that you select ingredients that are suited or matches your skin situation or your skin conditions so you know alpha arbutin was the was the guy that i was using and very basic i was just using three ingredients regular cleanser regular moisturizer and my skin improved so anything can allow your skin to improve but it's just that sometimes over a period of time you have different skincare needs and so forth and the basic stuff that you were using before once your skin is improved you want it to be better so you want to add more you learn more about the skin and you want to just add more to your skin so that it can be better and better and better and more glowy and glowing and glowy you know what i'm saying yes all right so the next thing we're going to use is my caffeine solution and ever since i started using the caffeine solution i haven't stopped i have been using this one for the past um since august since september I've been using this little bottle of um, caffeine solution. So, September to October, October to November, December, December to January. So, actually, I thought it was six months that I've been using it, but actually, it's four months. Or maybe, is it August? Actually, is it August? I don't remember when I got like the new skincare. I think it's in August. August, September. So, that's like five, four, five months going six months so that's how long i've been using um the caffeine solution i thought it was six months but it's actually maybe five months but this bottle is almost finished i think it's just going to last a couple more days or maybe a week or so so i might have to get more but whenever i apply the caffeine solution now that the time is dry I notice I still have to add a moisturizer under my eyes even though I'm using the caffeine solution and it's supposed to help with my um, hydration what I realize is that whenever I apply the caffeine solution it um the caffeine solution if I don't apply any moisturizer under or over the caffeine solution and I just leave it like that and apply my moisturizer everywhere of like all of my skin is hydrated but when you look under my eyes it just looks it doesn't look like it has moisturizer so i realized that during summer i can just apply the caffeine solution under my eyes but during winter i have to actually after applying the caffeine solution i have to put some hydrating um lotion under my eyes because my eyes get really um dry under my eyes get really dry so i have to make sure that i hydrate under my eyes even though I'm using the caffeine solution during winter because my skin is extremely dry all right so the next thing that I'm going to apply to my skin is um, I have also been using um, this this is from um, let me just show you this is from um, this is from Clef. This is the Clef Moonstone Roller. I hope you can see. It's the Clef um, Moonstone Roller. I have decided to start using this a little bit more often because I realize my skin is extremely dry. So like sometimes during the week, if I'm doing my skincare, I like to use the 
moonstone roller to just roll my skin because I don't want my skin to start look wrinkly and for some reason when it's extremely dry it's very wrinkly has this little not it's not like wrinkled but it just has this wrinkly look that I don't like so I want to be doing this like more often during winter oh my hair is just getting in the way just to help my skin you know to be a little bit more plump and so forth yeah, especially under my eyes yeah. so I just have to do it like this nice nice and then what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna sanitize it right not right now later on when I'm finished with this video the next thing that I'm going to do is to apply my hydration ingredient which is this this is the rich soothing cream from Claire's been using this every single day and I really I'm really happy that I actually saved this cream for now because it makes sense right now like it almost it almost reminds me of my Purito unscented recovery cream yeah this serum reminds me of my Purita unscented recovery cream it's basically similar to it I mean my Purita unscented Re recovery cream if I was supposed to choose between both I would choose the Purita but they do the same like they feel the same to me and I really enjoy using them guys I know that a lot of people are like you know a lot of people like to try many skincare products but I don't know I'm kind I'm not kind I'm the kind of person I am I get stuck in my ways very easily I yeah I like to do things the way I like to do it I like changes but sometimes you know if something is working for me I don't like to like you know, if it's not broken, don't try to fix something, something that is not broken. So, so that's my personality sometimes. I just get stuck in my ways. Whatever works for me, and I know that it works for me, I will continue to use it. Like, I will recommend other things that works, but whatever works for me, I just continue to use. I don't want to be using too many things on my skin. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the next thing that I'm going to do now is to apply some lip gloss. Cause I love lip gloss guys one thing I wish if if there is one thing that I would if, if I create a product a skincare product I would create like a lip gloss I love lip gloss I would create like yummy glasses yummy glasses glasses that are so yummy I would love to try like all of Fenty Beauty's their lip gloss I don't know and I love I also love um color pop their lip gloss so you know what maybe i'm gonna splurge one of these days on color pop on their glasses because i love color pop um, lip gloss because they always smell really really nice and then guys this is it for your girl nice hydrated weekend routine feeling really good sometimes when it's really really cold i my skin I, my nose just gets runny that was just to show you how cold the place is like it's very cold yes guys so as i said before this is it for your girl this is it for me hope you enjoy this video and don't forget to like guys subscribe and see you in the next one but that's it for today's video hope you enjoyed it hope you liked it hope it was fun relaxing and my voice is slowly coming back so that's good and i feel really good so see you in the next one bye bye